Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Shovel Knight All Feats. I'm your host, Mr. Red, and I'm trying to get all the feats in Shovel Knight. So without further ado, let's go. Oh, we're gonna do the Polar Knight, the Land of Ice. Oh yes, 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 uh, uh, right, right, I'm now remembering everything. So I did promise you guys that I was going to get all my stuff back, and as you can see, I did? Well, see, I tried to bounce on that, but I wasn't fast enough. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I forgot. So I forgot to um, do that, and I already started the episode, and I don't want to... Oh, boy, I have had a day. So once I explain to you what's been going on with me, you will understand why I don't want to stop and start over. So did I start it? I tr I, so I... Some backstory on me is I... Have never been a fit person. I've never worked out, or that, or I, I like to work out when I can, but it's not something that's in my regular uh, schedule. I'm not overweight or anything, but I'm not. You know, I've got, I've got, I've got some some work to do in that area. I'm a pretty skinny guy. I'm pretty svelte in general, but uh, uh, not, it's not perfect. And you know, it can always be better. So, the, well, that's all we'll say about that. Lately, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to go to the gym more. In fact, I'm trying to be a lot more productive in life, and to that end, ooh, and to that end, I have decided to start, oh, to start going to the gym, ooh, uh, first thing in the morning. So what happens is I wake up at six o'clock when my girlfriend wakes up because she has to work early. She has to leave at seven o'clock. So she wakes up at six. I also wake up at six. This is new. I used to sleep in. We live together, by the way, uh, in her parents' place, which is cool, but also, ooh. Anyway, uh, so. She wakes up at 6 and wakes me up because she always has the TV on when she wakes up. She's like, gotta watch TV. And I'm like, I want to sleep. Anyway, so I've just decided to commit and uh, I'm going to wake up uh, with her. Then I will spend a good hour and a half just kind of getting ready for the day. Damn it. F. Hell. F. Damn it. Okay, fine. Um, I accept it. Uh, getting ready for the day uh, and getting my gym stuff ready. And then I go to the gym at 7.30 and I get there by 8 o'clock. Uh, and then, because I work at 9. Um, so I, I at 8 o'clock I get to the gym. I work out for however long and then I take a shower for however long. So today the roads have been awful as they have been. Oh, you, you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, mm, ah, okay. Well, ye. You like that series of sounds? This is kind of co quality content you crave when you come to Mr. Red Plays. Ooh, Mr. Red Plays. I'm just gonna take him out from over here where he's not bothering anyone. Anyway, uh, so then I got to the gym today. Oh, it's been so icy. It took me a long time to get there, so I was already running late. <sighs> oh, I'm remembering this as it happens because today it's been a long day. What else happened? I uh, worked. I, I ran. So that's what I try to do to lose weight. I try to. That's, that's where I focus my uh, physical energies, is by running on a treadmill, which I don't like treadmills that much. I prefer to run IRL with podcasts and music and whatnot. Um, ooh, ah, did not see him. Didn't see him. Oops, too fast. Uh, can't talk and play at the same time. So it's good that I'm doing a video game Let's Play. Uh, anyway, uh, so I got on the treadmill and I ran for a straight mile basically four laps around my treadmill thing because uh, it has an iteration one mile I ran straight I've never I hardly ever can do that I maybe at, like my peak several years ago I had the ability but I haven't been able to do that because I've just get winded but uh, this morning today I did it and I felt great until I stepped off the treadmill and got onto the solid ground and I almost threw up I seriously nobody else was in the gym luckily I seriously uh, laid down next to uh, the garbage can because I was like I might straight vom into this uh, garbage can so that was uh, ooh, oh ah so that was a fun way to start the day then, so I wear glasses as well, as you can see from my coin. Look at the bottom right for the coin. Um, there's that thing again. And I, I, I take them off when I sweat a lot or have to, you know, exert myself like that. So I did that for the treadmill. <clears throat> Took it off, left it on the top of the thing. And I mean left it on the top of the thing because I went uh, down and into the showers to, well, shower this morning. Realized after I had gotten out of the shower that I didn't have my... Uh, thing with me. And the thing is, the showers are in the locker room. The locker rooms are sealed off by a uh, magnetic uh, key card that you need to um, get into. And so is the gym. They're both uh, magnetically, you have to sign in, you have to like slide your card to get in. So I got 
so I had left my glasses in the gym and I went to the showers and I had my, so I have my gym clothes on and I have my, uh, the key card, which I have on my person. And I just throw that into where my, cause I have to keep, Ooh, whoa, see, that was what I was talking about. I last time or whenever I, I hardly ever do that. Um, because I'm wearing my gym clothes and I don't have my wallet with me where I keep my card, I had to just throw it into my bag where I keep all my gym stuff, including my regular clothes at the time. It was in my pants. I didn't put it in my pocket, just randomly in my pants. I uh, got out of the shower and got dressed, forgetting about the card situation in my pants. Oh, uh, what about the party in my pants? Forgot about that, too. Um, and what happened was it fell out. Ooh, it fell out as I was getting... Uh, dressed and getting ready and everything and I didn't notice so I decided to just leave the locker room just walk out go on my merry way which is you know what I usually do and expect to be able to do and there's no problems and it's fine and perfect except I realized as I left that I didn't have my card and I realized that because I needed to go get my glasses so I had my I had my glasses in the gym, and I had my card to get into the gym in the locker room, which I also couldn't get into. I had to knock on the door to the gym, ask the lady there to help me get into the uh, into the thing to get my glasses. Then I had to get them to call security. I'm not going down there, by the way. I learned my lesson. Um, can I kill this guy from up here? Whoops. Can I kill this guy from up here? I cannot. Uh, got my glasses, then I got my card, then got to work. I was a little bit late. I was not happy with that. Um, then I got to work and I was feeling good because I had showered and I had worked out and I was like, yeah, good for me, even though I was late. And so that was good until that, so the roads are so bad that work then decided like, hey, we're going to have everyone leave early today. And I thought, that's great because something I haven't uh, mentioned before is that now my new location for recording these episodes is uh, work. I'm at work and I'm recording them and it's, you know, I'm in the, it's after work and after hours and everyone's gone. So I was waiting, I was like, yeah, maybe that means I'll be able to record earlier and be able to go home and have the rest of my day, and it'll be great. It turns out no, because there were some straddlers, stragglers, what's, what's, not straddlers, whoa, uh, but you know, people, laggers, let people lagging behind, something about all these words just sounds pretty offensive, and I don't like them. Uh, people staying behind and working later, including my father, who works with me, I worked with my father, I don't know if I said that even. There's a lot I don't, I, I'm realizing I don't say, uh-oh, that's not good. Um, so I, I had to wait for him to leave and he just wouldn't. So I'm actually later than I usually am because he just hung around for so long and I was like, please leave, I need to record, but he just wouldn't. Uh, so that was, I've been just boiling in anger all day, just waiting for him to leave so that I could do this. It's now, I'm like running behind, so I don't know if I'll be able to get everything recorded because I have to leave soon. Um, <clears throat> but that being said, I'm here and I'm having a great time playing this game. Also, I listen to podcasts a lot and, um, the podcasts that I was listening to today is the Rooster Teeth podcast. I've, I've mentioned it before. I'm trying to catch up. They have a huge backlog because they've been going for years and years and years. Um, since 2008, I believe, is when they first started. The Dark Knight came out that year, for comparison. Apples! Um, and so I've tried to catch up, and uh, I listened to several episodes in a day, and today I listened to some episodes where they were talking about some uh, either really gross things or specifically some really gnarly wound-based topics, which, I don't know if you guys know this about me, I'm a very squeamish person. I'm not comfortable with, like, uh, ickiness and whatnot. It, it just it just really skeeves me out, and I hate hearing about it. So they were all like, oh, look at this gross wound I have. Oh, okay. Look at this gross wound I have and how gross it is. And I'm like, oh, no thanks. So I almost, oh, okay, that doesn't help me. Uh, so I almost straight up yarts all over the place twice today. Uh, once while listening to uh, Rooster Teeth Podcast, Rooster Teeth Podcast, and uh, the other time while working out. So that's been my life. That's been my day. I don't know how you guys are. Ooh, okay, bye. Ooh. Oh, hey, look. Wow. I survived. Just barely. I don't know how you guys are doing. I've been doing just awful. Just god awful. But, I, oh, and I'm also hungry because I packed a lunch and I have been trying to, because, you know, losing weight and trying to be healthier and everything, I try to eat lighter because that's, that's the main thing I find is that it's not so much like uh, eating unhealthy stuff. I mean, of course it is that too, but like trying to eat uh, less unhealthy things. Chester! 
Again, I have not looked up this character's voice. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. I'm positive this wasn't it. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? You know, I don't. Uh, you keep talking about your chest and it's uh, it's freaky. I don't I don't wanna see your chest, breath. Let's see, I'll say yes though. Okay, I'm gonna buy that. Um, Yay, I got the Warhorn. This is uh, particularly useful. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna use it right now, in fact. Let him get closer, and BAM! Oh, I forgot they charge at you, too. Uh, so yeah, that's been my life. That's been my life. That's been my life! Anyway, I'm sorry I did that. Or am I? Am I proud that I did that? There's the air conditioning kicked on. I noticed that I don't think it picked up at all in the audio for the previous, oh, this is enough to see that you're seeing why, in real time, why the uh, war horn is critical to the survival in this game. <laughs> oh, 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 he got me. Uh, yeah, and I think I just hit the microphone, which I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. Ooh, give me that. Darn it. Okay. Is this anything useful or not? I bet it is not. Let's wait and see. Just a fishing shovel night. Just a fishing shovel night. Ooh, got it. Yo, yeah, okay. That's not nothing. That's not nothing. That's nothing. Ouch. Um, but yeah, I like this. Ooh, ah, just gonna run. Just gonna run. Okay, I was not high enough. I should have been higher. Should have been higher. But I'm not. Ooh, and I'm dying. I'm dying. Got him. Got that one. Okay, sweet revenge. Ooh, barely made it out of there alive. I am usually. I play this game a lot, not since I started this uh, series, but uh, beforehand, and I never get caught down under there. I usually am up higher in, in a nice nice thing. Uh, so I got a comment, uh, slap a slime on YouTube. Uh, it says that I do a lot of the same voices that he does when he plays the game. Uh, so that's good that we both have that sense of camaraderie camaraderie. I do want to apologize for forgetting Chester's voice though, because that is um that is a voice that I cannot seem to retain inside my brain. I'm gonna go for these. Okay, see it's not too hard. I always think there's gonna be like, alright guys, now I'm gonna do something stupid and it's gonna result in my death and I'm sorry, but then it turns out okay. And that's good. Ooh, get him one more time. I always, every time, every single time that guy is impossible to kill um succinctly, because like he just always is faster than me, or something. I don't know. It just never goes through the second hit. I mean, they require two hits. Anyway, I'm hungry. Today, for lunch, whoops, I had almonds for my protein. I had a apple, some, uh, what else? Some cheese, and some deli meat, which is also protein, so I had too much protein today. I'm, I'm, I'm stating that. I had too much, oh, I opened that thing and didn't realize. I have to go touch that, uh, those spikes, so I'm gonna use my phase locket. I'm going very slow, but I, it's fine. Uh, that's a bomb. That's a bomb. I feel like, what else did I have? Uh, did I have yogurt? No, because we're out of yogurt. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, I just had kind of a light lunch, and then I haven't eaten, so I'm probably gonna have to grab something very light, very small, when I get home. Oh, hey. That's a song scroll. Huh? Oh, and I burped, too. Excuse me. Excuse me, my friends. All right. Peter. Uh, I'm not, like, crazy about Family Guy, the show, in general. It's, I don't mind it sometimes, but, like, um, I don't know that there's any more fun or entertaining voice to do than Patrick Warburton, even if I'm not good at it. Peter. Uh, especially I'm saying, Peter, hey. Uh, it's just fun to do. Okay, how am I gonna get that one? Ooh, how am I gonna get out of it? Oh, I can use this. Oh, actually, I probably don't want to. Oh, it's good that I didn't then. I might want to bounce on him, um... Uh, that's something I say a lot, but in this context, oops. Okay, bouncing. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. No. Get back. Will you stop? There's too much going on here. Okay. Okay. Now I can infinite dagger my way over there. Yes. See, that's what happens when you believe in Mr. Red. That's what happens when you believe. Guys, I'm trapped in this voice now. That's all it's gonna be. All right. Now it's time for the warhorn. It's time to die. I've had it up. I've had it up to here. Okay. Got it. Whew. Get me. Uh, another warhorn. Oh, hey, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The warhorn also uh, shoopies these things down for me, so I don't have to shoopies them myself. This guy. This freaking guy with his ice follicles. Follicles, hey. All right, so I think I'm about to come up on Polar Night, which means I'm going to take some water drink. Now, what's this guy sound like? 
So, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? <laughs> the oh, wait. Hmm, I might have done the wrong voice there. The order has no equals. Surely you can recognize power? Join us. I don't really know what voice I'm doing here yet. You've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? <laughs> no more words. The bitter cold will claim you. All right, cool. Kind of turned into Liam Neeson there at the end, but that's not, uh, it's not a problem for you, is it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bouncing. Okay. So this guy is good at, oh, oh, I'm very low on health. Whoops. Okay, well, I think I'm going to die. Oh, maybe, maybe not, but I'm probably going to die. And then, oh, yeah. And then he's going to, okay, yeah. I'm definitely going to die. Um... But then I will just start over with full health, and that's good. That's good. There it is. That's me dying. Dying is not super a problem in this game, I've found. Because, like, you know, you just, you just, you just... You know what? We're going to fight him next time. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you tune in in two days' time for more Shovel Knight adventures. There's a Patreon, um, patreon.com slash Plays. If you donate a dollar a month, you will gain your name added to the end of every episode. In addition, if you do $5 a month, there's a special weekly short audio podcast I do where I um, will, you know say stuff about what's going on while I set up. Uh, there's also, also, a $10 tier where you can have access to a thread where you can tell me what to do and what to talk about. So that's exciting when I run out of things. Today I didn't. That was a very long story I told. I looked and it was like seven minute mark and I was still talking. I'm like, wrap this up. So uh, let's wrap this episode up. I hope to see you guys again. Bye, everybody.